Hello beautiful people of the internet. I've recently seen a video of that what I found quite amusing, very funny, um, of uh, a young lady uh, being causing her own arrest basically and I thought it could be it, it would be nice to go through this video along with you we'll go through it together and uh, maybe try and sort of analyze what is happening what is transpiring before our eyes and ears and I could of course provide my professional psychiatric evaluation of this uh, woman and her actions. I am Sigmund Freud's grandson, uh, the famous psychiatrist. Yes, I am uh, 116 years old. So yeah, I guess let's, uh, let's, let's start watching and I'll just uh, stop every once in a while and uh, let you know what I think. Um, but we told you he's an Article 4 free inhabitant, so he does not have to have a license. This is on recording. Article 4 free inhabitant pursuant to the Articles of Confederation. You can look it up. It's in the United States Book of Codes. It is your laws you have to follow. All right. I'll, I'll, I will do that. Just be calm. I'm, uh, I'm walking back here. Article 4 free inhabitant pursuant to the Articles of Confederation. Camera down. <laughs> okay, so for those that missed uh, what just happened, it uh, went by pretty fast. She's in the, the passenger seat. The driver has just been detained or arrested for driving without a license. So what is the reason that he's driving without a license? It's because he's an Article 4 free inhabitant. What the hell is that, you ask? Is it the same as a level 4 wizard? Yes, it is. I looked it up, and apparently there is a movement known as usually sovereign citizen movement and I guess she, she calls it a free inhabitant because of a sentence in the Confederate Declaration and it's also referred to sometimes as free man on the land it's all basically uh, referring to the same thing which is people that dislike a certain rule or a number of rules laws, I mean. It's mostly in the US, Canada and Britain. They dislike certain laws or even all of the laws and then they find sort of the the excuse. Certain rulings of court or certain sentences in the Constitution that can be interpreted in a certain way that uh, eventually lead to them uh, being able, in their minds, to declare that they are not uh, citizens of, of the United States in this case, so the laws of the United States don't apply to them. So they don't need a license, because the, the laws that state that you have to have a license to drive a car, they don't apply to them, because they say so. So that's, that's just how it is. Other stuff like paying taxes, whatever it is that you don't like, it just doesn't apply to you. I mean, uh, just look at this uh, sentence here on the on this uh, ruling I found from 1941 that proves my point. <laughs> so that's that's what's happening here. Let's continue. For me, is that if if, if it records, that's fine. Mm. But I don't want you holding anything. Uh, no weapons. No weapons. All right. No. Okay. So what I'm going to ask you to do is the same thing. And get out of the car. Yes. No, I'm not getting out of the car. Right. You can go get your superior. Well, I am going to tow this car. I love it. You can go and get your superior. It's like she is at a Starbucks and the double mo mochaccino latte she ordered is actually not a double. It's in fact a single mochaccino latte. <gasps> Could you imagine? So, b Mr. Barista, go and get the, the manager, your superior, because I demand compensation. Mr. Police Officer, I'm a free inhabitant. So you can't arrest me or, or tell me what to do and go and get your superior. It's like, it's this sort of approach. And, and we can see that that is immediately the tactic that she takes. There's no hesitation. <clears throat> She's very accustomed to using this sort of weapon. I am dealing with someone that I don't like what he's telling me. He's not doing what I want him to do. He is denying my will, and so 
So how do I, how do I deal with that? How do I make him do as I please? Well, how about I just remove him from the equation and tell him to get his, his superior? Now, what does that even mean here? What is she expecting to happen here? He's gonna, well, okay, well, I'm sorry. And he goes on the radio with like the, the police chief of his station and they wait around until he gets there or he takes her number and he's like, okay, sorry to keep you. Um, the, the chief will call you sometime and if it's okay, maybe you can talk to him on the phone and, and explain. If not, that's, that's fine. Sorry, have a nice day. She, she has no idea what's happening here. She has no idea that this is a policeman and he stopped them because her friend was driving without a license, which is, you know, it sucks for him. I'm not even sure that she's in any trouble. I'm, I'm not sure how the, the law and the U.S. works about when you are the passenger uh, of someone driving without a license. She may not even be in any trouble, except for the trouble that she is now creating for herself. So, let's continue. And you cannot be in the vehicle while I'm towing this vehicle. Well, if you go get your superior, he'll clarify right that he can be set free because he does not That's have to not have a license. not going to happen right now, young lady. So either you're going to come out of the car on your own free will, or I'm going to assist you. I'm going to get out of the car and walk down to that house. No, you are not free to leave right now. Now, now this is kind of interesting. He sort of, he does take control of the situation. He explain. He like set, uh, you know, gives her the the two choices. I, either you get out on your own, or I'll assist you, uh, which is a great way of uh, politely saying, uh, <laughs> I'll co I'll come in there and take you out. So it's like, she's she's like she's adjusting to this, you know. She's no longer. She sort of switches gears. She's no longer arguing about, I won't get out of the car. She's now agreeing to, I will get out of the car, but my one condition is I'm going to go over to that house. Now, I'm wondering what's so special about that house. What's going to happen when she gets there? Like, is, that, is there a sign on top of the house that says uh, a safe house for free inhabitants? Uh, USA laws stop at this door? <laughs> what's going to happen is there a teleporter in the house that transports her back to her home planet of Tumblr? What's going to happen uh, when she gets to the house? I don't know. I wish we had actual footage of the house. You, are you saying you have authority over me? Yes, I do. You have proven authority over me? Yes, I do. How did you do that? The county of Imperial through the sheriff. You do not have authority over a human being, right, over well, a free you know inhabitant. What? Do you want to argue the point? You need to go look up your laws. I don't laws. have to look at anything right now. What I need to do is get you out of the vehicle. If you have identification, please hand the identification over to me. No. Identify yourself to me. And I'm not going to step out of the vehicle. All right. Well, you know, you are impeding my investigation. You are delaying me, which is a penal code violation in the state of California. That law only applies to U.S. citizens. Well, where are you a citizen of? I am not a U.S. citizen. Well, see, that's I am a mistaken. free inhabitant. I am that's of the earth. I do not belong to any corporation. I do not belong to any country. Yeah, but as no. long as you're in the sovereign states of the United States, you will abide by the rules no. and laws. See, uh, and you have a free in, no, a free inhabitant is is is. Uh, they are allowed to. They are they are free people. They um have all of the all of the rights. Of a U.S. citizen without following any of their laws. Well, that would just be pure anarchy no, if that were the no, case. No, no. This is a bit, this is a bit unfortunate. We can see the the police officer getting, starting to get sucked into the madness here. He's actually engaging her in a debate over this lunacy of the free inhabitants. She even, I think, she even had some kind of a chance here because he actually made the mistake of starting to talk to her about this as though it is a real thing and like explaining while you're in the US the, these laws apply to you here she starts you can see that she starts uh, stuttering here because she's never I, I'm guessing that the only times she ever spoke about uh, these rules that she thinks uh, she has to abide by which is I get all the benefits she's about to explain this I get all the benefits that come uh, from being a U.S. citizen, but none of the responsibilities. I don't need to abide by any law. 
So I just, you know, I'm like a super citizen. All the good stuff, none of the bad stuff. But it's obvious that she only sort of read and wrote about it online. And if she ever talked about it in real life, it was with other people of this movement, other like free inhabitants, never with an actual regular person that has not yet been sort of introduced or brainwashed into this, that has not already, that she ha doesn't know right away is going to agree with her, uh, that might actually be skeptical of what you're about to say, which is why she starts stuttering because suddenly it doesn't make so much sense in her mind. Because so we're peaceful people. Oh, we're peaceful people. Please. You go, go ask, go call them up and ask him, and, and, and they'll tell you exactly what I'm talking about. Well, I don't know who to call. Your superior. Well, I am a superior to a, to a certain extent. So call your superior. Well, it's going to take a couple hours or so for somebody to come down. Well, just and that's call not going to happen right now. Well, then we're going to have to solve it some other way. All right. We just need to, you need to call in, tell them I'm a free inhabitant, and find out what well, that is. Well, I am going to tow this vehicle young lady so you cannot be in this vehicle i understand that so i'm to all right then i'm gonna get out of the vehicle and i'm going to walk down to that house no, because you do not have authority no, over not. me well then i'm not getting out of the vehicle no you're not i think she made a mistake he was actually like he was saying he was entertaining the idea he was saying like it's going to take them a couple of hours to get here she was getting somewhere he was starting to sort of buy into this oh my god is she really a super citizen i can't arrest her i can't tell what to do well she says so man uh, I mean, that's the, that's the power of persuasion. If you're sure enough of what you're saying, you can put the seed of doubt in the listener, which is sort of what started to happen here. But then he talked about uh, towing the car that she needs to, uh, to get out. And then she again insisted on uh, going to that house, which is her downfall. If she had just, I don't know, done something slightly different, maybe she had a chance, but he already denied you that before, that's a mistake, that's a strategical error. Why? You're not free to leave. Why? As soon as I conclude the rest of my investigation, you will be free to leave. As far as I know, you have not done anything wrong at this point, but you are slowly reaching you know, okay, to that point, you know 148 PC. I'll get out. Yep, there it is, he even says it uh, himself that she hasn't done anything wrong so far. I don't get it. I don't understand. It's not like she's not even trying on purpose to get arrested to prove, maybe she is on some level, to sort of prove a point. But I think, I don't know, even if, I, if I'm like believing this to such, a, such an extent, if you're a sane person, you can still sort of perceive the, the situation that you're in. And if you still know on, on which planet you're living in, and you know that this guy actually does have the authority and power to arrest you or whatever, if you continue to obstruct his investigation like he's saying, then how about at this point just stop, <laughs> like get out of the car, respectfully answer whatever questions he has for you and just get on with your day like call a cab and drive away and and get the bail money to bail your friend out i just i don't i don't get it i don't get the insistence of no i'm gonna keep arguing until he does arrest me like what's what what is that what do you gain from that i don't get it out of the vehicle for you i will get out of the vehicle I'm All right. Well, you're not free to leave. I'm. I. I you're no. gonna take the bag off. No. No, you're I'm not. You're gonna take the bag off. No, I'm not. You're not sure. Hey! This is. You're Relax. raping me. All this right. is rape. This is rape. This is rape. Relax. Okay. Relax your arm. Let's relax. Stop. Holy shit. Yeah. This is some infuriating shit, actually. Uh, he told her to, to remove her bag or whatever, or not to leave. As soon as he touches her, it's rape. Makes me angry to hear it. How easily the word rape has, uh, has been weaponized here. He's doing something I don't like. He's, he's touching me. So that's rape now. We're not having sex. He's not forcing me to have sex against my will. There's nothing sexual going on here. 
but now I'm going to scream rape. I'm, it's like she's going to say whatever it is she can to, to just get him to do what she wants. You know? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. She knows it's not rape. That's like a terrible thing to accuse somebody of doing. But she doesn't give a, a shit what rape actually is. It doesn't matter. She'll say anything. She would say he's murdering her if it could have any sort of weight here. She knows that rape could sway him. You know, it could uh, do something to him. He could, like, back off. He could get startled from that. She would say he's murdering her, except the only effect of that would be for him to sort of confirm that she's crazy, since he's not murdering her. And then when she, she, like, she screams, you're raping me a few times, she sees that doesn't work, so she goes into a shriek strategy, which is try and explode his eardrums, I guess, with a high-pitched scream. Uh, let's see how that works. Fighting with it's me. relaxed. Stop fighting with me. Stop fighting. All right, okay. I'm not fighting. Center two, five, six. I got a bad of X-ray. Here, I'm lifting my arm up. I'm lifting my Leave arm up. Your arm right it there. It hurt. Okay, I just, I told you what I was doing. This is pain compliance. Okay, it's not meant to be comfortable. This guy, I just, I wanna like commend this uh, police officer. He's just keeping calm throughout all this bullshit is amazing. This is Do I have your attention? This is completely illegal. No! Take, take my bag off! I can't. You're not putting me in the car. You can wait till you get superior. You are not taking my bag off. You can handcuff me with my bag on. You're right. I will. Relax. I'm relaxed. Don't cut my bag! You got me my bag! You're gonna get in so much trouble, you son of a bitch! You're gonna get sued! You don't even know what you're doing! I'm telling you, I'm Young gonna lady. fucking sue you! Stop. What's your name? Our Godona, our fucking Godona. You're gonna get arrested. You're gonna get fucking... Oh my god, you don't, you don't know your own laws! Relax, young you lady. You don't know your own laws! Relax, young lady. I can't believe you just did this. You need to calm down. You're going to get in trouble. You don't know your own laws. Calm down. You're illegally doing this. I told you I was a free inhabitant. Calm down. You are illegally doing this. Young lady, calm down. You are illegally doing this. I told you this is against my will. You did this illegally. And there we have it. That's the gist of it. The long and short of the matter. I love that expression. You're doing this against my will. I mean, how dare you? Do something that I don't want you to do. I've already told you. You can't say you don't know. I've told you I don't want you to do this and you're still doing it. How dare you? You need to do what I want you to do and here are reasons X, Y, and Z, Y. I've told you to get your superior. I've told you to, I'm a free inhabitant. I mean, doesn't any of this stick? Just tell me when something works and you're gonna leave me alone. Okay, I'm just going to keep throwing stuff at you. I'm going to sue you. You're raping me. What, what works here, man? Just, just stop me when something works. I'm going to guess that she doesn't, get, she doesn't get called on her bullshit often. I'm going to guess she gets her way most, if not all of the time. She's really not used to this. Not used to uh, having all of her sort of the tools in her arsenal uh, fail on her. She's really like confused. She's dumbfounded. I mean, God, I, I screamed rape and he still hasn't backed off. What the fuck is going on here? I have never come across something like this. Every time I scream rape, they did what I wanted. What's going on here? Well, you cut my bag. All right, you're under arrest. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Get me my stuff. Relax. No, you're leave under me arrest. alone. You can't have this big camera right You can go get your superior. I will go get and anywhere. I'm but sweating right, right here. Go get your fucking superior. You son of a bitch! Give me my fucking You Relax. fucking asshole! You need to calm down. You need to fucking learn your goddamn job because you don't know your fucking laws! Okay, this <laughs> this is kind of this is too much. <laughs> when he says 
you're under arrest. And she just starts screaming, no, I'm not, no, I'm not. <laughs> I mean, I, I kind of feel sorry for her. I have to say, she's like a, a little kid. It's like, you're under arrest, no, I'm not. Yes, you are. <sighs> I, I almost feel a little sorry for her. I mean, this, <laughs> this is entirely her fault, 100%. All she had to do was answer a couple of questions of his, and that's it. She was completely innocent, from what I understand. She was completely innocent of any crime. She went from that to getting arrested within like five minutes. That's impressive. She, she worked hard to become arrested. This did not happen uh, by itself. She did a lot of work for this to happen and it made her a YouTube celebrity for a day, she should be proud. So to summarize my analysis of her uh, mental condition, she is definitely suffering from special snowflakeism, very severe case. In fact, this is a person who is in fact extremely special and the rules applying to the rest of you non-specials do not apply to her. And if you think that they do, then go get your superior and you're raping me and I'm gonna sue you and all of the above. Yeah, kids, stay in school, don't do, don't do drugs, don't do Tumblr, because Tumblr, not even once. Thanks for watching this and sticking with me to the end. I hope you enjoy this and um, have a fantastic day.